Hello and welcome to some more 13th week Mazda. We are at Lime Rock now as the track rotates daily instead of weekly on week 13. We've uh, I've well, got an older setup from Major's Garage. It is a setup meant for the classic layout and not this layout, which is the Grand Prix layout. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue. It seems to run fine. Had the fastest time in the open practice before this, so I assume that means it's okay. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem to have any gearing issues or anything, and the two layouts are pretty darn similar anyway, so I don't think there's going to be any problem. Just got to be really careful on the uh, cold tires, as usual. Though it's particularly scary <laughs> this time around. Not quite as it, uh, scary as it was at the Charlotte Roval that one time, but still, uh, still gotta watch your feet. Green flag, green flag. And watch your footing out here on the cold okay. tires. So, hopefully, we will have ourselves a good qualifying run. First and foremost. Get a little weird through there, but <laughs> I'm really just trying to manage these cold tires. I have to race a little bit, just a little bit differently. To manage them. I'm terrible at the chicane. I know I'm losing a bunch of time every lap right there, and I can't even do it very consistently. So, hopefully, that's not a problem. Hopefully, I can get destroyed from behind by people that are much better at taking the chicane than me. <laughs> um, so, we're going to be about a second off of our optimal. One more lap. Not too bad for cold tires. But let's see if we can improve here. Oh, overdrive the first corner. That's not a good start, but um, we can kind of bring it back a little bit. If you get the angle right there, you could flat out that corner. Didn't quite get it right, though. And here we go, losing time here. Actually, I was a little bit fortunate there. I hit those uh, curbs pretty hard, but seemed to uh, the car seemed to tolerate it, so it's okay. We're gonna be about eight tenths off of our optimal, so we improved by about two tenths. Where does that bring us? One minute five. And we are going to be dropping, because everyone's getting their second lap in, which is going to be better. But hopefully not dropping too far. We'll see. Wheels are being a little bit noisy. It's getting creaky. Hopefully the uh, noise cancellation, or whatever you call it, noise suppression, eliminates a lot of that, but got a creaky wheel. Looks <laughs> like we're falling... Sixth right now. I know you want to let go and let it roll through there, and that seems to be the best way to do it, but it's pretty darn scary. It's kind of like uh, jumping out of an airplane with your parachute. Like, you know, you can, you'll probably be safe if you do everything right, but it takes that leap of faith to let go of the brake and start rolling through there. As usual, I'm much better uh, when the tires warm up than I am on the cold tires. We're just having fun right now while we wait for everyone to qualify. Yeah, 
wanted to drove it there. It's it's tough. That's a tough little uh, chicane there. Ooh, almost overdrove that. And if you get the angle right for that final corner, you can flat out, but it's very easy to push wide, so you have to watch it. We'll bring it to a stop, because I am done. <laughs> so, it's looking like two gallons is a good amount of fuel. That's what I'm going to put into it. We are seventh. Pretty much everybody's ready. Just waiting on the 19, who has done the one lap. Hopefully that means they are doing a second right now, and we can get started pretty soon. That's, That's exciting. Yes, there we go. All right, everybody worked together and got this thing started early so p8 he ended up passing us just barely all right i know i can hit i can get in the 59s my optimal is a 59 6 so if i put it all together i can have a pretty darn good lap but that's probably with draft and stuff too if i had to guess but, uh, i know i have speed in there somewhere just gotta be consistent and uh well, first things first, they're going to survive the start of the race, so. But we'll have all-time optimal up. Try to do better and better. We'll see. P8. And top split, 13th week. I'd like to start a little bit better than that, because... Boy, the starts can get messy, and even if you're not the one wrecking, they could be wrecking in front of you. And that either A is going to slow you down, or B, you're going to join that party. And I don't want to. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm eating a blueberry muffin Kit Kat. If you've ever heard of that, it's apparently a new thing. It's really good. I recommend it if you're into that. P8, 10 minutes. You really need to get on with it. I right, better stop eating. Be better get ready to go. Green, green, green. Alright. Launching off. Car on. Clear on the right. Clear on the right, I like hearing that. Hmm, checking up. You don't hit the brakes there, but you're gonna have to unless you want to run over this guy. Anyone gonna spin out here? It's a common place to spin out on cold tires. No, it seems like we're okay. Let's break early. Into the chicane, which we do. So far, so good, actually. Uh, seems like everyone's doing all right. So far. Ooh, I hit that. Hit the uh, curb really weird there. That was not ideal. Man, I lifted off and I still ended up in the grass. There's no grip yet. So that's not what I wanted. People break here. I don't break here. I roll. Seems to do just fine for me. Stacking up again into this cane. Ooh, that guy's hitting the curbs hard. Oh, where is he? Clear. Oh, he's in the grass. Okay, we're good. That was scary. Well done, Colton. Nice move, mate. That guy disappeared. Hello, he's back. Ugh, I hit the curb again. I don't know if you saw that. It just kicked me the wrong way. I'm getting some bad luck with these bounces off the curb. Normally you can hit that curb just fine if you just uh, do it a little bit. And there, it uh, sent me almost sent me off the course. 
definitely like to not lose the Mazda draft. It's a strangely important thing in this series. Wish it wasn't so important, but it is. Oh wow, we got a lot of space behind us. What happened back there? Got through there pretty good that time. For my standards. So I feel we're good because it's a 10 minute race and the laps are about one minute long. Guy blinks out in about the same part of the track again. I'm like being a coward in that final corner now. I need to <laughs> trust the car now that the uh, tires are heated up a little bit. The car in front has just done a one minute. You've just done a one zero zero point two seconds. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Right. That pretty close, but it works. Seems like I can stay in second a little bit longer than I typically th do right there. Seems like I'm doing well enough in the chicane, not to lose a bunch of time at least. The gap ahead is now 1.2. Push through there that time. It still wasn't great, but didn't what I needed. They're doing weird stuff up there. That's your quickest lap in this session. Latency's bad as usual. Hopefully that stops. Uh oh, they're getting stacked. Are they gonna run into each other? Whew. All right, let's see. Going into the chicane. Yeah, hit it. Okay, that time too. I need to adjust my wheels, not because it's like falling off or anything, but it's just being really noisy. I really hope that's not coming through annoying. Let's see if I can do anything okay, right now. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Oh, the curb bumped me off again. I swear, in practice, I was Venables. using up the curb pretty well without having any issues, and now it's sending me. <laughs> Sector two is zero point three zero off the pace. We are catching up to this little group here, that's cool. Come on, Eduardo. What happened? What right happened, in front of me. Man? I don't know what they're doing. That curved pretty hard, that was not a good chicane. Oh, there goes a lot of progress. Bad turn in there. Man, a series of two bad corners and all of a sudden a lot of progress is lost. Man. Maybe I just need to not in between. Maybe I have to fully commit to running over the curb. Or don't hit it at all. So I think, like, I'm trying to be careful not hit it too much and it's actually hurting more than it's helping. I don't know if I'm keeping up with these guys just because they're stacking up on each other and they're actually better than me, or what, <laughs> but it seems like I gain a whole bunch in the first part of the track, or the first part of the course, and then once we hit these final corners, alright, that was a weird way to take the chicane, they are three wide, this isn't going to work, there's zero chance this works, oh my god, I'm so surprised. There's two spots. What the fuck, man? Huh, who could have seen that coming? That corner's tough enough too wide. I don't know who decided to make it three wide, but I have the feeling they're back there in a You're in fire pit right now. Uh-oh, overdriving, overdriving. Overdrove that. 
That was not great. I need to focus on what I'm doing instead of thinking about what just happened back there. <laughs> So I don't think we're catching the five up there. There you are a decent bit away at this point. Not sure about the eight. The draft might help us, but like I said, I think I think any one of those guys were actually faster than me, but. Two minutes to go, two minutes. And they were kind of just stacked on each other. That time I went for it, and it, it still almost did terrible things. <laughs> Let's make sure we turn into the corner this time. That's a good idea. So, we got some free spots, and we are in the top five now. That's pretty nifty. Ugh. All right, Colton. Messing up the chicane, but I think the guy in front of me messed it up too, so could have been worse. We are gaining just a little bit on him. I don't know if we have enough time for that to map, but... We are also going to get a 1x, and no, we probably don't have enough time because it's the white flag. That's a quick race. Ten minutes. Are they wrecking each other up there? I got distracted by their messages on the top. Uh, that could have been worse. <laughs> could have been worse. It's the saying of the race, I guess. Because I could have gone even farther off course and lost more spots here, but I saw, sorry, sorry, thanks, thanks up top, and I'm like, oh my gosh, who's doing that? And then overdrove turn one. Regardless of my excuse, still can't be doing that. <laughs> so. Alright, we will hold on to a top five at least. Could have been worse. <laughs> and, uh,. Well, I wish I didn't have a three X, but is what it is. You got a slow car on the right. Car stop on the right. Okay, it's over. Well done, mate. Good finish. All right. All so right. the one yeah, wins. They flag. win a lot when they show up. Recognize Great that name. You did really well. <laughs> um, I'm okay with that. We moved forward from where we qualified, and uh, we didn't actually wreck. We just went off course a couple times. So that's all good and well. Alrighty. Plus the whole fact that we're using a setup that's actually not meant for this <laughs> layout and it's outdated. So, probably not ideal. Probably doesn't affect too much, but probably not ideal. So, from 8th to 5th, two of those were uh, freebie. Actually, I don't know if there were more that were freebies. Usually the start of the race is just chaos, so I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but, uh... We will go ahead and take a gander at that chaos and get a look at what's going on. So the minion car, I mean, if you're going to drive a car with minions on it, I mean, you kind of get what you deserve, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's mean. <laughs> but uh, they get taken out by the guy that hit the grass. I'm muted? No. The guy's just not making any noise. Uh, that's a big mess, by the way. So... This guy just runs over the green and black car, and then for whatever reason, he decides he's gonna turn back on. I guess he overcorrects, but that's not what you want to be doing, is it? Oh my god. And then he gets stuck again. 
What a mess. What a mess that was. So many people caught up by that. That's what I was talking about. Like, you want to qualify well. Because the accidents are going to happen. This guy almost makes it through, but the guy was rolling around. Huge mess. This guy brake checked me for no reason in the open practice at a time, so... Oh, that's the guy that got taken out. See who isn't it? Unless he just has the same paint scheme. No. <laughs> So he's the one that got taken out. I never got an explanation from him why uh, he brake checked me. He uh, started typing something in what I assume was another language. So I don't know if he was saying sorry or like, what did you do that for? <laughs> but not upset about it. It's just it's funny. I didn't realize he was even in the race. What is going on here? This guy's way off pace. Where did he get his damage? Oh, he was desperately trying to get rid of a slowdown? Is that what happened? Oh, he's broken. He hit the curbs and broke his car. Is this guy talking? Like, no one can hear you, man. <laughs> yeah, his car's broken. That's interesting. So he broke like an axle or something? Suspension? I don't know. I don't know what a car is. What are you talking about? But something's broken, and he's just sitting in the middle of the track with it. I mean... It's tough, because you want to get back to the pits. But he needs to be out here. He does not need to be sitting in the middle of the racing line, that's for sure. So, if you're gonna be broken like this... So you're right here, and you gotta think about where the racing line is, and you gotta do the opposite. So you gotta be like... Ready to let guys on the inside here. Instead, he lets them out on the outside. Because reasons. And then... I guess he's letting guys by there. But you gotta be out here. And let guys take the normal line. It's really messed up. This guy made him lose a spot. And then... <laughs> I mean, you're just like, you're ruining guys' races, because that's like a whole lot of time that some of these guys are losing. You're sitting in the racing line, what do you expect? So, that happened. Then we just got a guy going off track on lap four. Lap seven, we got a guy diving in. And then a guy tries to cross over, but there was no room for the crossover, so he just hits him. Interesting. Oh yeah, here's the three wide that definitely was going to work always. So who can we laugh at for making that a reality? So there's single file here going into the chicane. Lead guy messes it up. Yellow checks up for him. And then... Uh, the three... Gets a big run because of it. So I guess maybe he's assuming one of these guys is gonna back off. <sighs> That's a tough spot. That's a tough spot to be in. I don't know. It looks like the center guy backs off and he ends up winning because of it because you just cannot enter this corner from that angle. I think this guy had to swallow his pride and be like, I cannot be all the way by the white line when I'm entering this next corner coming up. Because I'm just not going to make the corner. I mean, what do I know? Because he's got a... Oh. Because he's got a <laughs> higher I rating on the road than I, uh, than I do. Although he might not anymore. Depending on how it changes and where it was. But um, So what do I know? But I think you just got to be safe there, don't you? Because that's never going to happen. Just never going to happen. Seven, I think. I mean, to be fair, he held it pretty close. Not quite enough. I think as the seven, you got to see what's going on here. And you have to expect that someone's going to push wide. So as much as it's going to stink, I think you got to like stay way out. At least to like right here. And if you do, then the contact probably doesn't happen. 
But let this be a lesson. The guy that backed out first is the one who came out a winner. I don't think anyone was a winner in that necessarily, but the least loser. <laughs> I'm a winner. Look at me. I got two spots. Had to break for those goobers. But didn't lose much time. Going wide here on lap nine. Ooh, accidentally pressed it twice. But it looks like it was the same incident. So yellow just runs over the sky. Well, what are you doing that for? Is, uh, is he mad at him? Is this retaliation? Because these are the guys that wrecked, aren't they? So did he do that on purpose? I don't know. He certainly didn't not try to do it. That's a thing that happened. And then we might be stuck on this guy because I think he might have a little bit of damage that's causing him to show up. Yeah, we're stuck on him. It's already lap 10 anyway. This is the end of the race, so we'll power through the uh, stuckness. Maybe we'll see something else here in a moment because uh, that was... This is the last lap, I believe, but... No, it's looking like that's the end, so... All right! Oh, yeah, that was it. That was the end. <laughs> we only got 10 laps, because that was me parking. So we got ourselves a top five. We moved forward. Had a couple off tracks that I wasn't happy about. <laughs> the only person without an incident was the guy that won. But hey, we're, uh, compared to everyone else, we're doing pretty good. Looking at you, 16, 13, 12, Dan. <laughs> That's not great. But, uh... I can be happy with that. Top five. Decent. Decent field. Kind of. And, uh... It's week 13 anyway. So. I'm just happy someone didn't start driving backwards. <laughs> but, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed some, uh... Mazda with open setup. Been pretty fun. And, uh... Hope to see you again next time. Have a good one.